welcome to today's tutorial brought to you by To The Tick and today we contribute to our video library working on live chart data with one of our key purposes with these library videos to understand the importance of studying and using our instruments background material for future clues into price action. We want to see that history and where history might repeat itself. Today we're going to add video number three in our library, working this real up-to-date price data, learning how to put it all together. We have chosen um, one instrument in which to learn and try to focus more intently on that instrument and the traders that are trading that instrument. We've picked a larger time period chart to use here as a focus and we have also come into it realizing we're going to use the same material to look at some different concepts. So first and foremost understand that the reference points on my charts will be color coordinated. They always will be. You'll notice how these marks and this is this bright blue hash mark and the purple hash mark and then it changes the structure on this particular purple line just very quickly. You'll also notice the uh, price data is on the right hand side, volume data on the bottom. Right now I'm sh trying to show you um, the material that we covered in the very first video and what we set with which is to start with this big bullish base and one of the two charts that I have on the website concerning our very first video included much larger history action showing you that bullish base in the background. So that's how we started our analysis. We had a big nice breakout here and we were looking for opportunities to trade a bullish continuation pattern. Obviously there's many of them. As I said this is a larger time frame chart. We had numerous opportunities but we were focusing on this nice bullish pole, our breakout when the bulls took over and we had a great big tomahawk trade, one that Lav actually gave a name for and it's basically an expanded triangle, an expanded apex and I think it looks like a tomahawk and we traded this large picture trade from this blue zone here and talked about the apex and the formation and the fight that was going on there and our muddy trench that was established at that day and time and this moment all of those days put together creating that really nice number for us to use as a reference. It was the most worked number and all the way across that material and basically you had the battleground there. It's a duel. Anytime you have a fight here who's going to control and you get to see it along that what we call what I call the muddy trench. What today's subject we want to talk about are reverses. Using our big picture tools to help us get information what for what might be coming now, next, in this moment, this day, when we're trying to risk money or thinking about risking money. So we actually need to want to do a little bit more in-depth detail and first and foremost let's notice that our base over here everything that got started with our very first video one let's first notice this nice pretty inverted or what they call a head and shoulders bottom reversal pattern which set up the breakout. How could we have seen this as a key major area for a reversal in our background in this stair-stepping bullish climbing pattern but we couldn't afford that great big tomahawk type picture. We needed to come inside. We needed to look in a smaller time frame. This period took about six weeks and that's a long time for a lot of folks. So are you swing trading? Are you trading smaller terms? So come inside. Give me a price range I can work with. So that's what I want to do now. Let's look at something that's more in this price range. From the top of the box to the bottom of the box, you're talking about 2000 bucks. Inside, purple to blue, you're talking about 1000 bucks. Round it off. Right? We're trying to learn how to work the material, individual price patterns that we can clearly see and time frames and dollar amounts that we can trade where we feel comfortable with the risk. You remember where this big green rectangle sits? It's sitting right in your big argument where you're looking to see whether the bulls can hold this or not. The bulls have to prove something here. They either do it 
or they don't. If they don't, this is a big breakdown and you would be looking to come back to that same area where we started the base, where we started that inverted head and shoulders, because that's the last true area of support. So right here, they either do it or they don't. Now, are you going to trade inside this monetary value? Where do you clearly see a reverse pattern? And does it matter? Remember, reverse patterns, no matter what they are, don't confirm as a reverse pattern until you actually get the breakout confirmed. Then you get to say, go back and say, okay, that's an inverted head and shoulders. The point is, your group, the people trading your contract, do a lot of these inverted head and shoulders. Might you learn from this multiple left side approach into, I might add, exactly what they did last time. And remember, the bright blue line, when you go back and look at your bigger chart, is not the lowest low price. I always put my lines up into the meat of the matter. I want to get fills. I want them to get to me. I want to learn from my material that I've got numbers that they do consistently come back to and give me opportunities to take the play inside a smaller price range. So multiple ways to look at this. Great big reverse pattern. Where do you see it? We're looking at volume cues. I put lots of charts on the website where I annotate for you what's going on with the volume. These are your charts, and I'm going to leave a good number of them after this video for you clean. They are your study material. I'll try to keep them clean so you can print them out. But I want you to understand and be able to focus on the zones and focus where the real action happened and what does it look like. Come inside, then go, let's go back outside now to the bigger picture. And again, what's your definition of support? How much did you have to risk? That's always what you're wanting to know. And down here in this really tight head and shoulders, what was your risk? Well, your risk was this head. Okay, then your next risk was this shoulder. At that point, when did they ever come back to those two lows? This is the one they came back to. Why? Where did they first, first start willing to take profits? That left shoulder area where they were willing to come out and take profits and the volume teetered, 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 teetered off until a big explosive dump and run type capitulation selling is what you're looking for. Then they had to come back up here and get some supply, and somebody hammers it again, right? Pushes it down in here. And again, this pattern took several days. It's not a minute chart, okay? So there's more money in here. There's 2,000 in this box. What kind of time frame and range are you trading? This is where it's set. Using our larger charts as reference, and now video number two. Video number two, basically, we looked for that bear continuation. When did this reverse turn into a bearish, trending, intermediate pullback? And I want you to look at where it pulled back. Now, I didn't touch those lines. We did this material before any of this happened. This video was done. Then this happened. Now I'm doing the same thing now. And one of the tools that I left for you in video number two was to show you the part that we worked with a nice clean chart, again, for you to mark it up for yourself. Use it while you review the video where we mark it up like crazy here. These are clean. I want to keep my big picture chart clean. Major lines I'm looking for. Seven grand in here. Okay, who can't make money? And again, a bearish pullback made, what, $6,500 here? It pulled back that far? $6,000? Money to be had both directions. So even as bullish as you might be, it's still got to prove something. And where was that line in the sand? And I want you to put a little thumbnail, put a little thumb note, a thumb tack on that purple double dotted line. Notice now how many times we're having to go to it, through it, test it, prove it, not prove it. And again, remember your color, cord, and reference points here have not changed. So now that we've opened this up and now we can see the left side of this picture, what kind of reverse did we have up there? Let's look and see. It offered so much money. And again, let's look at the detail. 
We want to see how much money. And let's think about that $1,000 range for our box. It's a big old head and shoulders. So now what? We've had an inverted head and shoulders that started everything. Then we had another inverted head and shoulders that took off to get up here when we got into the nitty gritty of the smaller chart. And now we've had a head and shoulders getting ready to go the other way. How powerful are these patterns? Numerous multiple shoulders on the left hand side. A single shoulder here just left hanging after this great big hole. And remember our video number two, we worked this reverse only from the red line going right. I did not show you the left side, so you couldn't see that part. Now you can see the entire mushrooming effect and how powerful is it, and yet they still don't give it up easily. But this is a lot more money, thousand bucks here. The reversal patterns and us looking for those bearish continuations all happen from either the box and or the red star. And now let's take it one step further. Let's continue our video number three and this reverse how beautiful was it now let's try this one here we are with great big falling action happens with a big gap here a big gap here big gaps up here great big gaps and they fall hard and in this chart there's only two bars here one dark blue bar and one bright green bar two bars which no matter how you look at that, you can call it a tweezer, you can call it an Adam and Eve, it's a double bottom, you can call it whatever you want, depending on what time frame you're looking at, how many bars is it going to be. Well, again, let's go in here. This is a major support area. We want to see what comes inside here again. Again, let's look in that thousand buck range in here too. Definition of support, again, your bigger chart, it falls back into that purple line. And you're going, but wait a minute, I know that blue line is underneath this one in that bigger chart. Yes, it is. But where was the message that they were turning? Where do you see the full exchange when the bears run out of gas and the bulls cannot hide their interest? This right-hand side, it hit three times, and the one on the right was one tick lower. One, two, three, one tick lower. And look at how they shot through with these great big bars in here. So again, 14 bars actually filled on that purple line. The difference in the money value of the actual lowest low, $100 here between the bottom of that box and the purple line. Now, up and down for the whole contract, you're looking maybe $900 inside this box here. And again, this one's broken down into a smaller time frame. But come in and look at the duel. Look at the battleground. Who and when do the bulls finally take over? And does it take a lot of volume for them to do it? Once they actually took over right through here, there's not a lot of volume there, but you know what? There's no more sellers. We don't run into any other sellers until we get up here, which is the top of the rectangle. And if you work a rectangle like what I suggest in all of my reverse patterns, I don't care what they are. Again, they don't confirm until they've broken through a major line of resistance or support if it's going the other way. In this case, well, how do you know where that is until it confirms? Well, you don't. You don't know if this is a head and shoulders or a double bottom or it's a tweezers or it's a whatever it is until it finally gets on with it and continues to hold higher, higher, higher lows while it's advancing highs on the top. Well, it doesn't really do that. All this volume mess in here and nobody gets really interested. It spurts through prices. Well, if you paid attention to how it came down, it did the same thing on the way up. And it's using those open and closing gap material to get you some spread and price. Again, lots of little tricks, but who was in control and how quickly should you have been able to know that? Coming inside, going back outside, 
And oh my goodness, look at all this conversation. We're now going to go forward. And the chart that I gave you to end the last video got us back up to our second effort in resistance here. And that's as far as we had updated information. So now here's the rest of the picture. Again, the amount of money that we're talking in here, 7,500, 7,700, something like that for the full swing, full swing, about 7K maybe, going from little purple dash to the big boy, second effort. How much more time is it? Again, a larger chart. So let's fine tune. How long did this reverse take? The symmetry, where is the exact neckline? How do you draw your reverse box? How much money is involved in it again? Right? Is it about the money? But how many days? If you're a day trader, how many days did you have to sit through that swing action? Well, let's look inside just this portion, a fraction of the smaller one, right? But it's also the far right shoulder, and let's spread it out. Here's our far right shoulder. You want to see that one again? Far right shoulder work, last effort before they let go of the whole thing. Okay? Here's the last effort. Now, smaller time frame. How much walking on that line did we do? And remember, that line got established from effort number one. That's when that line got put in place, and it has not been touched since. They came back to it like it had this huge magnetism and kept massaging it, massaging it, massaging it, massaging it. And again, can you see the volume pattern in the unwinding of one direction and then the other? But how much patience would it take to hang on and still realize that your pattern was true? Your head and shoulders are really reliable patterns. You're not talking about the top trade here. This is the right shoulder. You're 10 points off the top by the time you're looking at this pattern. 10 points back off the top with them failing to get back there. That's where you are. And again, this particular box is about $750. And now we come to fruition, up to date. Last point. Here we are. We finally broke down on that head and shoulders up there. And now we're sitting down here with this big breakdown. It's all about the establishment of the first effort in new resistance. The amount of money here is so symmetrical. Now look at the amount of spacing in my large chart. You know, referencing this instrument, this time frame, you don't need to know what it is. You don't need to know all the money, really. But I'm trying to reference looking at something for you that's a bigger picture and keeps you in line on the real issues. Plus, now we've got two efforts into resistance. And man, it took a lot longer for that one to unravel. We saw this setup. That's one of your examples today. So again, I'm going to give them to you as clean charts, but I am going to leave the reference lines for you. So if it's a dark purple hashed one and you're looking at this reverse, you come in, you get that fine tuning. Again, you've got them spread out now for you to use as study materials, and that's what we're looking for. You're trying to learn the type of patterns that this group responds to. Where do they make their efforts? Do they make three solid efforts? We now have a reverse video number three. And again, I want to show you just looks, taking a step back. And here's our four that we looked at today, independently, smaller chart areas. Now, I want you to look at it and immediately, do you, can you able to keep score? One effort to prove you can hold this line of support. One effort is resistance. Two efforts to hold this area as a support. And remember, it's a zone between purple and blue here. On the way back down, you'd still be expecting support on the blue line if they go through the purple. So it's a zone here. And again, our zones, look at the size of the boxes. I try to draw them as best I can. 
to fit with the size. Obviously, I've got this one a little out of whack, but they're a thousand bucks. I showed you the inside pictures, thousand bucks, two thousand bucks, right? All four of these boxes had patterns that if you will come in and study the patterns individually and you get a feel for them, then we look at a reverse as a reverse, period. Is it multi-shouldered? Come in and learn what's going on in that duel. Learn what's going on in that duel and then you'll know how to trade them. So I'm encouraging you and I'm giving you the tools to come and learn to trade. We are continuing to do this as a progressive lesson in this library. I may change it up and do a completely different topic on you, throw something else out just for hoots and grins, but we're going to continue to use the same material so you can keep massaging and learning and learning. There's plenty more for us to learn in the charts that we already have in front of us. Okay? Learning your reference points. Look out at one final thought. I want you to think about this. Just me sitting back and doodling. All of those were head and shoulders. And there's many more. Again, which time frames are you on? Are they head and shoulders? Are they one, two, three efforts? And it's each individual moment and the structure of what you're looking at, it's that one, two, three efforts. It either gets on with it and proves something or it doesn't. It's the line in the sand. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed it today. Again, you're going to have these videos, text description, and lots of chart samples. I have ones on each of the individual subjects marked up for you with lots of nuances and notations on the volume patterns to be looking at. Most of the charts I'm going to give you this time are clean, except for the reference points. Thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying it, and we'll continue to add to the library as we move forward. Bye for now.